Hi, I'm Brian from Pharonix Technical Support, and today we will be going over the installation of Pharonix Core. In this video, we will be setting up the Pharonix Core console on the management machine, as well as installing the Pharonix Core agent on the workstation so that it shows up in the Pharonix Core console and can be managed from the Pharonix Core console. To start the installation, just download the Pharonix Core setup file from pharonix.com. Once you have it downloaded, extract the contents of the compressed folder. Once extracted, go into the Pharonix underscore core folder and you will see the Pharonix core setup file. Before the installation, please ensure that you have .NET Framework 3.5 installed on the machine, since this is required by Pharonix core. To begin, just double click on the Pharonix core application file and this will bring up the install wizard. Click on the Next button. Accept the terms in the license agreement and then click on Next. If this is a first time setup, select the first option to install the core console and core server. Pharonix Core requires a SQL database. You can use an existing SQL database if you already have one installed on this machine or on another machine in the network. If you do not, just check the box which says Download and Install. Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 Express Edition. Click on the Next button and then click on the Install button. Once this is done, click on the Finish button and this launches the Pharonix Core Console. You will now be asked to configure the Pharonix Core Console and the database. In this video, I'm going to select the Custom option to display all available options. Click on Next. Select Create a New Certificate and click on the Next button. Specify a name for the Pharonix Core Certificate and then click on the Next button. Specify a password for the Pharonix Core Certificate and then click on the Next button. You will now be asked to choose a SQL database instance. And before clicking on the Next button, test the connection to this database. If the connection is successful, click on OK and then click on Next. Specify a password for the Pharonix Core Administrator user and then click on Next. You will now be presented with an option to create and configure the database and finalize the configuration. Click on Next over here. Once this is done, click on the Next button. Once the configuration is complete, you will be presented with your username credentials and passwords. You can show these passwords and save this information. Once this is done, click on the Finish button and this completes the installation of the Pharonix Core Console. To be able to manage your workstations from the Pharonix Core Console, you need to have the Pharonix Core Agent installed on your workstations. To install the Pharonix Core agent on the workstations, you can go to the Discovered Workstations node on the left-hand side and select Network Workstations. If you see workstations displayed under the Network Workstations node, you can select them, right-click, and then choose to install the core agent. If you do not see workstations displayed under the Network Workstations node, you will need to create the Pharonix Core agent installer, which is an MSI file. To do this, right-click on the Local Host node on the left-hand side and select Create Pharonix Core Agent Installer. You can configure a password for the uninstallation of the Pharonix Core Agent and then click on OK. Save the Pharonix Core Agent MSI to a location where you can access it from the workstation. Once this file is created, go to the workstation. Once the Pharonix Core Agent MSI file is created, run it locally on the workstation. When the install wizard comes up, click on the Next button. Accept the terms and the license agreement and hit Next, and then click on the Install button to begin the installation.
Once the installation is successfully complete, click on Finish, and you should now see the workstation show up under the Managed Workstations node in the Pharonix Core console. If you face any issues during this installation, or have any other questions, please contact Pharonix Technical Support. Thank you.